This video describes our process of fermenting wrapped round bales. We don't have a spray tank on our baler, so we use a side-by-side -side with a 60-gallon tank and a battery-powered diaphragm pump from Delavan. We've set it on a platform so we can easily slide it in and out of the side-by-side, -side, and when we are done with it, we can just put it away. It includes the pump and the hose and a spray nozzle so that all we have to do is drive along and spray. When we're ready to bale, we simply drive along the windrows, metering the spray based on the speed of the vehicle. We apply approximately one gallon of fermentation culture per ton of forage and spray across the windrow to get good coverage. Once we have applied the fermentation culture, the baler picks up the windrows and creates round bales of about a thousand pounds. We bale at around 35 to 40 percent moisture, or a bit more if the baler can handle the extra weight. The bales are contained with a fiber mesh that allows air and moisture to pass through. However, we don't want air and moisture to pass through, because we want them to ferment. So we collect them from the field and wrap them with our bale wrapper. The wrapping seals in the moisture and creates the anaerobic environment the fermentation biology requires. The wrapping also seals out external contaminants and excessive moisture that could spoil the fermentation. This is especially important when you are storing the hay. The wrapped environment maintains the active fermentation process, creating a better finished product for the cattle you are feeding. We generally ferment our bales for two to three months. And even during the hot months of summer, the bales never heated up significantly. This is an especially effective fermentation method for grasses and mixed forages. Grasses lose their moisture very quickly if not contained. The dry environment of a standard grass bale does not have the moisture necessary for active fermentation. The wrapped bales maintain their moisture, facilitating the active fermentation biology even with grasses as long as you bale it wet to start with. As the fermentation process progresses, you can walk by the stack and smell the forage. It has a sweet, very pleasant smell to it, and I've been known to walk by the stack just to enjoy the smell. So what does fermentation do for your animals? To start with, the fermentation process begins to break down the forage materials, making them easier for the animals to digest. The quicker digestion also releases more energy for the animals that consume it. They're able to utilize it more efficiently and waste less of it in an undigested material through their waste stream. The real question is, how do the animals respond to it? In our experience, they respond very well. This first herd has been receiving fermented alfalfa for a while. They like it so much that they ignore anything else in their manger if there's fermented alfalfa there too. They'll eat the fermented stuff first before they touch anything else. The bigger ones will push the smaller ones out of the way until they've eaten their fill. If they're, lucky, if they're lucky, the smaller ones might get a bite here and there. And if they happen to get in the way, they simply pick them up and move them. Another benefit of fermentation comes from the fermentation biology itself. As the microbes multiply and break down the forage, they produce additional nutrition, compounds, and enzymes that were not present initially. This greater nutrition strengthens your animals and makes them healthier too. As we look at this fermented bale, you can see all the white growth on the outside here. This is beneficial yeast that grows in the transition zones from anaerobic to aerobic. It is not mold, as illustrated by the way the animals like to eat it. These calves were actually fed just a couple hours previous to this video. They had already licked up everything they had been given. 
As soon as they saw more being put in their manger, they all came right over and were ready to eat again. Here we picked up a good bunch of the beneficial yeast and offered it to the calf. He was more than happy to oblige. The buffalo here have also been receiving fermented forage. We baled up some cover crop and it has been fermenting for several months now. You can see the dark caramelized areas as well as the white beneficial yeast. Before putting the bale in the pasture, the buffalo had been eating a bale of regular alfalfa. As soon as they saw the tractor bringing in the fermented bale, they immediately left the alfalfa and came over to the other side of the pasture to wait for the new bale. They always finish off the fermented bales before returning to the regular bales. One of the most important reasons to ferment your forage is that as the animals consume the forage, they also consume the microbes. These are probiotic microbes that boost the beneficial populations in the animal's gut, again boosting the health and strength of the animal and creating a stronger immune system. In the world of biology, numbers always win. If you give your animals more good microbes, they will crowd out and control the bad ones reducing and often eliminating the need for supplemental antibiotics. So, greater feed efficiency, better nutrition, and healthier animals. If you aren't fermenting your forage, you should be.